In this video, we're going to discuss a new EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 and their new Smart Generator 4000. This setup is EcoFlow's newest upgrade to their popular Delta Pro units, adding many new features and capabilities. When coupled with solar panels, these units can provide an unlimited power source, enabling you to operate most of your home's appliances. It's transportable, expandable, programmable, and integrates into EcoFlow's existing ecosystems of products for whole home backup power. Now, before we begin this video, let me acknowledge the high price tag. Um, I always try to respect my audience, and I know that many of you are on a tight budget, and something like this is going to seem excessive or just too expensive. But this video is not about pushing a product, but rather informing. I also know that some individuals may be in the market for something like this, and they may want to know if it's a right fit for their specific needs, which I'll try to detail in this video. So here's what we're going to cover. The specs of the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. We're going to look at what it can power. We'll discuss the new upgraded EcoFlow Smart Generator 4000, which can pair together and quickly power the DP3. We'll try to answer the question, who is this designed for? And finally, I'll give you my final thoughts. And if you want to check out any of the items that we cover in this video at any time, I'm going to post links along with coupons in the description and comments section below. So let's go ahead and jump in. EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 Specs. Let's start off by pointing out this unit's biggest feature. It can output 240 volts. Most of these types of devices, they require you to tie them together with a hub to achieve 240 volt, but this can actually handle it on its own. Now, this is a unique feature you'll rarely see in these types of models. The total AC output capability is 4,000 watts continuous, handling up to 8,000 watts of surge. And I know some are going to ask, but no, you can't turn on both the 120 and 240 simultaneously. It will only allow you to select one option at a time. Now, the internal battery has a capacity of 4,096 watt hours and is made of EV grade lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry rated to 4,000 charge cycles to 80%. What this means is you could charge it up and discharge it to power devices 4,000 times and it would still hold 80% of what it did when you originally bought it. That would roughly translate to fully using the battery once every day for 11 years and it would output roughly about 3,300 watt hours after those cycles. Now, you have two ports on the back for solar input. One can handle high power voltage at 30 to 150 volts at 15 amps for a maximum of 1600 watts. And the other can handle low power voltage at 11 to 60 volts at 20 amps for a maximum of 1000 watts. So combined, you could add 2600 watts of solar input. Now, regarding charging this, they give you a lot of options. For AC input, the C20 port supports both 120 volt and 240 volt AC fast charging. And we're gonna get into more detail with the app, but it's worth mentioning here that you can regulate the AC input, which comes in handy to modify how much input it will receive to meet or stay under your power source. In a video I did several months ago, which I'll link to below, I covered their new smart home panel too. If connected to this unit, you can charge at 4,000 watts, benefiting from their proprietary Xtreme charging feature. You can even charge it from a level two EV charging station at 4,000 watts. Now, additionally, you can charge this in a van or an RV with their new 800 watt alternator charger. Inevitably, the question will arise regarding passive charging when plugged into an AC source. If the input is 120 volt, it can output either 120 or 240. And when the AC input is 240 volt, it's not gonna output AC on either the 120 or 240 volt output options. Now, regarding their expansion batteries, they have a capacity of 4,096 watt hours each, weighing approximately 73 pounds, and the Delta Pro 3 can accept a total of two of these add-on batteries. On the back of the Delta Pro 3, you have a port where you can connect these together via their cables. I like their approach regarding connecting cables, which have a low profile connector. Now shown here, this setup has 8.1 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. The app is a main feature that separates EcoFlow from its competition. I've tested nearly every manufacturer's model, and while there are one or two that get close, EcoFlow really stands out. Uh, I guess the best way to describe their apps is intuitive and powerful. They allow you to control the unit remotely via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, changing the AC charging speed and the depth of discharge. You can schedule tasks defining how and when it charges, and so many other features. Now regarding sound, these are very quiet. Their proprietary X-Quiet technology cools the unit, making it only 30 decibel of sound as long as you stay under 2,000 watts of usage. And they are a bit on the heavy side at 113 pounds, but they are mobile with their wheels and retractable handle. 
Now, additionally, they can serve as a UPS. If you were to plug this into an AC source, such as your wall socket, and then plug in an electronic to the front AC output, if the power source from the wall socket goes down, this will switch over to the batteries in under 10 milliseconds. You can also actually connect up to three of these units to the smart home panel too. And with the additional expansion batteries, you could achieve a capacity of 36 kilowatt hours at 12,000 watts of output when tied into their smart home panel too. Now let me finish this section by pointing out that their original unit, the EcoFlow Delta Pro model, it's easily been one of my favorite units I've tested over the years. I have beaten, pushed, and <laughs> just used it quite a lot. And it just keeps going. If this unit is anything like their previous model, you're gonna get a lot of good use out of it. It's also a great upgrade from that unit with the slightly larger capacitor and the 240 volt output. Capabilities. When it comes to capabilities, most viewers in my community are typically concerned about being able to power certain devices if the grid were to go down, maybe your refrigerator. But instead of just showing a bunch of random devices like I have in the past, such as hair dryers, which people point out in the comments is not a real practical use, let's instead focus on a tool that we created and take a different approach here in this video. What we did is we built a calculator that you can customize to add your own information, and it tells you what it can power and for how long. Now, I'm going to link to it below if you want to check it out. So let's jump into the spreadsheet. Okay, as you see here, I've got my desktop pulled up. And what we're looking at is a calculator that we built based on all of the solar generators that we've tested in the last year. And we show how long they can power things, how much they can handle, efficiencies, all these kind of things. So what it does is it allows you to go in and test the devices that you want to power based on the abilities of this unit. And again, we put all this information here. And let me show you how to use this. Now, to begin with, before you can use this, you have to go over to File, make a copy and what you can do is copy this to your own google drive you're not going to be able to edit this unless you make it a cop make a copy all you need is a gmail account to go in and you know copy this into your drive okay so how do we use this well if you look here on the right you're going to see all these different models we've got a lot and if you look here in column at least at the time of recording this video ak and al we have the ecoflow delta pro 3. now up here you see the running watts and the surge watts and this shows how much it can output continuously in this case running watts and then the surge is 8000 now over here on this side we have different devices that you may want to power these are common devices you can obviously go in and enter any of the device or uh, devices that you want or take any of these change do whatever you want if you look at different devices that you may purchase they'll usually list on the side how many watts that device needs to pull continuously to operate if you're not familiar with this, I'll link to a video that we did a while back that goes into a lot more detail. But for now, what we did is we basically entered information that's kind of common that we hear a lot of people ask, well, can it power this? Can it power this? The most common of which is a refrigerator. So if you look here at row 17, we have a 18 cubic uh, foot refrigerator. Now, on average, if you were to run one of these for about one hour, it's going to pull roughly about 200 watts. There's always going to be variables that which impact that, but 200 is a good ballpark number. Now, that's for one hour. So what does this mean? We'll go back and change the values to see how this all works. If you scroll down to the bottom, and again, we've got AK as our column here. So let's scroll down. You can see down here uh, that, first of all, we did testing and we found this unit is 83% efficient on AC output, which is very, very common. Roughly low 80s is kind of the, the ballpark that we see all these performance. Some are a little higher, some a little lower. So it's pretty much right down the middle. And what we see here is this shows the largest device we are running. In this case, because we're only running a refrigerator, it just shows that unit or that value. But it says, you know, total watts needed after running, you know, this, or we're going to pull out 200 watts. So what we'll see down here is that in order to output 200 watts of that device, what we're going to be left with is 3,875 or eight, I'm sorry, 3,855 watts. Okay. That may or may not mean anything to you. So let's get into actual using this tool because the values down here, uh, you're going to see a lot more uh, feedback once you start changing these values. So let's say you have a 12 hour outage. I mean, you know, that can happen 12 hours. All right. Well, now we just selected 1200, uh, I'm sorry, 12 hours for this refrigerator. And if we scroll down again, column AK, we see that we have 1200 Watts left. So we've used up a fair amount. Now that's assuming you don't have a solar, you know, any kind of solar panels or a gas generator to power this. So as you can see, it begins to show you quickly how much this can power and for how long. Let's bump this down and let's say, you know, hey, we want a power refrigerator for two hours and maybe we have a microwave that we're gonna run for a few minutes. You know, we need to heat up some food. I mean, again, I'm just kind of throwing out some examples here. 
So again, using our example, column AK, if we scroll down, well, we have 3,553 uh, watts left in capacity, watt hours, excuse me. So what this does is it quickly shows you how much it can power for how long. Now, if you see some of these devices like this one over here, the EcoFlow River 2, it would go into the negative for running those devices after that period of time. So what I would encourage you to do is just come around over here and just play with this calculator. Say, well, I need to run a space heater too. I want it for, you know, maybe two hours. Okay, well, great. Now we again come down to our calculator and, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to, one of the things you also have to do is select the number of devices, in this case, one. So you can see, wow, that really pulled a lot. Space heaters are very power intensive. So the more you play with this, it's going to show you. You can you can get a really quick understanding of, well, I can power this for this long, and if I change the value over here now, I can only power it this long. And again, if you have solar panels, you extend the life of the battery, or rather, you give more time uh, you know, to be able to power things. Now, I also want to quickly showcase the 240 volt AC output capabilities by powering my EV, my electric vehicle. Now, shown here, I have the 240 volt plug connected to the car charger, and the maximum wattage output for the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is 4,000 watts. And I've got my car's charger set to 17 amps at 240 volts. So I'm outputting roughly 3,922 watts. So again, check out the calculator that I covered a moment ago, and I'll link to it below, and you can really learn to understand how much this can power for how long. EcoFlow Smart Generator 4000, dual fuel. Now, while you can charge the Delta Pro 3 from an AC source such as a wall socket and obviously from solar panels, one other unique feature about EcoFlow is that they specifically built a dual fuel generator, their new EcoFlow Smart Generator 4000, that can communicate with the Delta Pro 3 to charge it directly via direct current. And as shown here, you can connect these two together via DC ports. And the gas generator can output 3,200 watts, which is a 40% improvement over their previous smart generators. Now, since the typical gas generator outputs via AC, the one that you may buy at the store, a gas generator, with this new DC connectivity feature that the 4000 model has, you don't have a loss in converting from AC to DC. So if you're looking for a tight connection between your battery, solar, and gas system, this system is very optimized for this purpose. And this device also supports both gasoline and propane. A single gasoline tank outputs roughly nine kilowatt hours of electricity. And I tend to go with propane as it's easy to store and can last up to 25 years, but it doesn't necessarily produce as much output as gasoline, but I do prefer the benefits of propane. And what I appreciate about this dual fuel generator is the ease of use via their app. It's incredibly customizable, which allows you to define when it turns on and off to power the Delta Pro 3. For example, if the DP3 runs low, it can automatically start and talk to the dual fuel generator to start it up so it can power it. And when the smart generator and PV are simultaneously connected to the portable power station, the system prioritizes solar energy for recharging. And utilizing the fast DC charging, the gas generators only started for assistance when the electricity level is critically low and urgent recharging is needed. For example, during a known power outage period or brownout intervals, making full use of solar energy to save on costs. So the advantage here is that this approach really ensures that the gas generator doesn't need to run continuously for power generation, thereby reducing noise while still providing a reliable power supply. Who is this designed for? Okay, so we've reviewed the specs and features, but let's try to answer the real question here. Who is this really designed for? The short answer is anyone who wants an easy to set up backup or off-grid power system while still wanting a mobile device. Um, I've done a lot of DIY videos on this channel for solar, and I know that's going to come up in the comments section. And by all means, if you can go that route, I would encourage you to do so. There's definitely some advantages, but there, I know there are going to be individuals watching this video that don't want to take the time to learn it or don't have the time. They don't want to pick up the extra tools needed, and they would rather just grab a system that's ready that can be plug and play. And that's really what you're getting here, plus the mobility factor. Again, I've built DIY setups, but they're not compact, built and engineer the way these are. They're not really designed for mobility. And it is worth mentioning that if you want something that's more powerful than this unit, I would encourage you to check out our uh, EcoFlow Ultra Model video review that we did, which came out in January. It's a step up from this unit. It's, uh, it's a lot larger, it's a lot heavier, and it's not mobile. But what this device, the DP3, the Delta uh, Pro 3 that we're reviewing, it really bridges the gap between a permanent whole home system and smaller portable units like the ones I review on this channel periodically. 
And those, those typically average at around 50 pounds, whereas this model comes in at 113 pounds. And technically it is still mobile. It probably will require two people to load it into a vehicle, but it is mobile. Now, additionally, it's advanced app features. They provide a great option if you wanna control and monitor remotely. Uh, in short, it's powerful enough to handle heavy loads, but not really constrained to a permanent installation. And while I mostly keep my original Delta Pros in my garage, there are times where I'll go to events and having them just come in handy. Also, this unit would be a good fit for those who want an easy system to set up and get going quickly without having to build a custom DIY system, which we talked about a second ago. And again, I've done a lot of videos on those and you can check them out in the library, uh, but they do have a learning curve, which this unit really resolves that issue. Final thoughts. So here's my final thoughts. <laughs> I've worked with a lot of these solar generator companies over the years. I've reviewed <laughs> quite a number of these and most of them are typically a lot smaller than this one. Uh, again, if you looked in my library, especially in our solar section, you're going to see many of these types of videos. And I've seen a lot of companies roll out products that on paper, they look amazing, but when used, they just don't deliver. But on the other hand, up to this point, EcoFlow, the models they have sent me, uh, have really performed well. But if that changes, I'll definitely let you know. So I really, I'm saying that because I have no issue referring or recommending this product. Again, as I mentioned a few times in this video, one of the units I still use on a regular basis, years after having received it, is our original Delta Pro model, which this new DP3 is replacing. Uh, the original model, the Delta Pro, it's been a freaking tank. I've, I've pushed it, I've been rough with it, I've powered it you know, at the limit, pushing it to, for example, charging my EV and other things that require a lot of draw, and it just keeps ticking away. Uh, now, as I pointed out in my annual solar generator comparison video, if you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link to it below. We did it a month or two ago. This year, I'm going to be narrowing down my videos to just a handful of companies that I'm comfortable recommending on this channel, and EcoFlow is at the top of this list. Uh, again, I've seen so many of these manufacturers pop up. They've sent me units. Some of them just are pieces of junk, and I get questions asked all the time, why aren't you reviewing this model? Why aren't you reviewing this model? The models that we bring now on the channel, not that we haven't in the past, but right now we're just narrowing it down to ones that we have seen a proven track record. And so with this model, they, you know, in this particular manufacturer, EcoFlow, they, one of the things I like is they just keep innovating and rolling out better and better products. And I think this is just another example. So I hope this video at least gives you a high level understanding of this unit's features and capabilities. And if you have any questions, feel free to post those below. And I'll post a link and a coupon code in the description and comments section if you want to check one of these out. As always, stay safe out there.